Good morning, everybody. This is the professor trading with Day Trading for Success. Please read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't try to follow any of these strategies without speaking to somebody you trust or, for that matter, anybody else on YouTube. And you should always trade in a sim until you see any of these strategies we teach or anybody else works for you. So hopefully you've read that. So today with our group here, we'll be trading 1,000 shares of AMD. I'll be quarterbacking, calling the ball. The only real rule I have when trading with me is that you all have to have the same share size so I don't get FOMO. We'll be trading on Thinkorswim, doing market orders only. And this is what we consider to be the perfect one minute layout. So we have three different strategies we teach here, the RV strategy, the open strategy, and the escalator strategy. And I'm gonna go over those with you and then tell you about all this free stuff that you can get on the channel. If you like what you see, remember to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe and I'll be having live video demonstrations and one in about 10 minutes we'll be starting with the RV strategy. So the RV strategy is basically a range bound strategy. It's very popular uh, and we've been teaching it here since uh, last March and they finally put out a book about it, the Million Dollar Margin Club because of the success of it and that's called Day Trading Volume One and that has all the details about how to set up, how to find the criteria for the stock, how to trade the stock, you know, bit by bit, candlestick by candlestick, um, and everything about it. Now, I also have a video that shows that whole book if you don't want to buy it. And I have a ton, ton of videos that show the RV strategy. I just want to point out that they did, they did do that, which is cool. Um, some of the other books, while I'm talking about books, so I can just get it off the, 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 uh, chart here, so to speak, is the Candlestick Pattern Playbook that recently got put out, which is really a game changer because it had all the different people. Uh, it used all the different uh, data that all these people that studied candlesticks that ha had their own books out, kind of put them all in one book and then gave a rating system for each pattern, which is pretty amazing. I will be calling these patterns out as I see them. Um, there's also like a way that you can cut out flashcards and they have... Um, quiz examples um, that you can take in that book that just help you learn because the, uh, all the million dollar margin clubs are uh, books are workbooks so they have like logs to take to go along and, and log your progress take notes and do it so they're they're like um, you know what am I going to say textbooks they're like textbooks so and they're pretty cheap so I recommend getting either of those the other book I highly recommend is trading in the zone which will help you you know emotionally uh, come you know be have confidence in yourself because that's one of the hardest things to do uh, and then finally the other strategy that we one of the strategies we teach here is the open strategy and the trading journal log book uh, put out by MMC visions <coughs> excuse me um, has the criterion to find the stocks at the open. Uh, so I highly recommend that. Um, it's not, it doesn't go into a strategy, although it does has a log book, but it does show you how to find them. But if you want to know about a strategy, how to trade the open, and we're going to be doing a lot more open strategies on this channel, um, just type in open strategy on the videos. The other videos that you might want to get is all the custom scripts, this is the scalping indicator. DTS means day trading for success. There are 10 separate um, scripts that we coded in here that are available for free on Thinkorswim. So you might want to check those out. Episode 80, I mean, episode 66 and 67, I believe, have this for Thinkorswim and TradingView. Episode 83 has like 10 different custom scripts, all for free. So hopefully you can give us a thumbs up for that stuff. If you want to see how to street, f speed up this platform, there's a video on how to do that and your computer and also gives all the specs for the computers that I use and the monitors that I use. Um, if you want to see which way the market's going to go any given day, we have a video that we put together that gives a pretty accurate reading, nothing's for sure, obviously, about which way the market's going to go generally every day. So there's a video on that, a video on how to set up your scanners for something like this, the RV strategy or momentum strategy that you see so many people trade online. So you don't have to go out and pay for a scanner service. We'll show you how to set that up. Just type in that video. Uh, also, how to set up your charts, how to build this layout, consider the perfect one-minute layout, or how to just, you can just take it, 
being downloaded. Um, so I always recommend bringing the scripts and the custom scripts in first, and then they will populate so you don't have to do it individually if you're going to do that. So lots of videos on that, lots of videos on archive trading, uh, lots of competition trading. Um, so check it out, guys. I would watch every video 10 times. That's what I would do. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so hopefully we'll have your support with that. So we're going to start trading with the group in about seven minutes. I want to go over what we have here. Um, let me just make sure. I don't have Charlie with me here helping me. So she would normally come in to help, but um, I'm making sure my volume was on over there. So uh, what is the RV strategy and how do we set it up? Well, you go to a daily chart. Now it's a range bound strategy. So how do you get your range? How are you gonna figure out your range every day, right? Now there's tons of videos about this, remember guys. So go find the videos if you're not getting it right here. This is the close of yesterday, so it's under my picture. It's $168.18. And then down here, you see the Wilders ATR over a 14 day period. That's the average true range of a stock. So this is range bound. So it says $6.63. So you divide that $6.63 in half. You subtract half of it from the close to get the ATR low, average true range, low, true, lane, true range low, and then you add half to get the average true range high. That is our beginning range bound that we want that stock to trade in. We think that stock's going to trade in. But where do you take your trades, trades inside that range bound? Well, this is a big spaghetti mess here. Remember, guys, there's a video here. This is this hue and these some of these lines in here. The arrows are the volume profile set for intraday. It's a pretty good trick to do that. Um, so there's a video that shows just how to do that. So you can really see the point of control and where the action is intraday, not over a long period, if you're planning to day trade and scalp. This is a one minute chart. Over here is a five minute chart, which I'll open up in a second so you can see a little bit better. But all these lines in here are what we call pivot points, support and resistance lines. Where do they come from? What are they? Well, there's a couple of different ways. You have your Fibonacci levels. So you open up a let me just auto zoom here. So you open up a, a five minute, 10 day back chart and you look at your Fibonacci low. You look at the low and you mark the Fibonacci on the low and you look at the high. So always left to right. And that's going to create support and resistance lines. See the yellow lines? So Fibonacci is a pretty respected thing. So you definitely want to get that on your charts. And then you can open up a two day, five minute, and we get a little closer one. So the pink lines are the ones from a little closer. The yellow lines will go back 10 days. Now you don't necessarily have to go back 10 days. It's the high and low within those period of time. Now you've got these yellow and pink lines in here in between the ATR high, which is up here, and the ATR low, which is right there. So there's a bunch of spaghetti channels here that we have to deal with, and I'm going to be trading in just a few minutes, so I'm going fast. So the, the book explains you, you can set support and resistance line on a four-hour chart, a 15-minute chart, I mean, I'm sorry, a one-hour chart, a 15-minute chart, or even a five-minute chart. Sometimes daily, that's more for the escalator strategy, though, and then you get channels. These are creating channels in here. See that channel? So these are creating channels. So support and resistance, ceilings and floors. So today, when I looked at the way the stock was, and you want to cover this in the book, the hour chart was giving me more than the four hours. So I literally marked the, where candlestick wicks and bodies stopped on the hour chart that would be in the area of our ATR. So you're looking for in the area of our ATR. Now, why would I do that? That's because this stock stopped, rested, or turned around at these points before, pivot points. So you want to mark them out because people are either still holding a position or to sell it or waiting to get back up there to buy it. So why wouldn't you call out a note to that? That's kind of the key to the RV strategy and then normal scalping. But you're looking for um, range bound, uh, support and resistant line patterns, patterns where the stock is turned around again. It's all about pat or turned around before. It's all about patterns. So now we have this zone with Fibonacci, one hour support and resistance in here. It's all going to help us when we do typical scalping. When we do typical scalping, we're looking at candlestick patterns. Like I said, get that book, the candlestick pattern playbook or any other book that really dives into candlestick patterns. I will be calling them out today. Um, and that's going to help you out. But you're looking at patterns. You're looking at one minute and five minute uh, chart alignment. Let me just get this set up because we only have about two and a half minutes left. I don't know where I am here. How far back am I? There we are. Okay. 
So this is your five minutes. So you're going to look for alignment. Then you're going to look at volume. Then you're going to look at half dollars and whole dollars where people um, psychologically take trades at a certain time. So you're, you're definitely going to want um, to, to slowly learn these techniques. These are not new to this channel. These are everywhere when you're scalping. So having a skill to scalp is a great edge to trade the RV strategy. But the RV strategy is a pretty safe strategy. Remember, trade in a sim after you started to learn it. But you, you set your, your loss and profit and loss based on channel sizes. So if you feel they're too far apart, go in and mark it on a 15-minute chart and make them even tighter. Or a 5-minute chart and make them even tighter. There's support and resistance at every level. Again, look at that book because uh, I can't cover it all right now. So, guys, I'm looking to go short. I think I told you I'll be calling the ball for everybody, but they take their own trades. This is the most important indicator that I will be watching, which is basically because it's volume, but it helps me with the volume a little bit better because it's calling out the percentage of sellers, sort of like a, a wave. You can shows me like the buyers are winning now, and then it shows it going up. So, you know, right now, we kind of had a hanging man or a spinning top. And this is a hanging man. This is sort of a spinning top. That's a hanging man. So these are basically telling me that it was going to re it was reversing to go short. So it is starting to go short. These are reversal signs. So it is starting to go short. Now, remember, I have this set very, very sensitively. Guys, I'm going to go short based on this. I'm looking for it to climb up here just a hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell um, – Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go in right there, guys. Um, I don't know what's going on with this. It's not reconciling like it should be. Um, 58. Yeah, that's 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 all. That's oh man, that was happening yesterday too. There we go. Okay, so all right, so we're in this position now. And what if you've watched me trade before? I take a lot of mini scalps. I'm trying to not do that. I don't, I'm not going to try to do 30 trades a day. I'm going to try to ride the channels more like how they're called out. So the way I trade is based on a, um, you know, it's a little bit higher skill level calling out the patterns. You're not going to see me take a trade randomly. You know, you, you, I'm going to call out what, what, trade I take. Now, since I'm trading a 1,000 shares, what I'm going to do today, is I'm, my max loss today is only 500, not a 1,000. Some people would call, I say only 500, because normally I do the share size. So I could have called this wrong. I wish I would have got it up here instead of where I got in. Um, so, so this is definitely... Um, so there's the buyers up there, but this time, if you look at the volume with the buyers... It's not really telling me that it's going to break this this uh, one hour up here. It's still this is just a I think it's still a reversal, but let's just keep a close eye here. If I I uh, again I'm not going to jump in and see I'm already back up to 190. So you know so you don't freak out if you see a couple hundred bucks because look at my share size right. So I'm prepared for these kinds of losses if I get them. I don't want them, but uh, I'm prepared for them. So you might only want to trade 20 shares, you, you know, 50 shares, whatever it is. Uh, try to get that 50 bucks a day, 25 bucks a day, maybe 100 bucks a day. Starts to make a difference in your life. And you might want to wait for the perfect setup. Now, I'm making a video and I'm going to call out why I trade, why I take a trade so it doesn't seem random to you. But I'm obviously trying to get this in and I'm going to try to get this in for entertainment purposes in a half hour. I'm going to trade the RV strategy for roughly a half hour to 45 minutes. And I'm just going to take trades constantly just for entertainment purposes. OK, so but you as a trader that is being more careful and not doing just an entertaining video, you know, you probably would want to um you know, take it slower, wait for a more perfect setup. Now, I know a lot of people are trading exactly like I show here and doing great, but it is a, it is a learned skill to do it this way, to not have, you know, the, uh, the anxiety, you know. So when you start to feel anxiety in a trade, I think all, you know, I speak for everybody that is showing any kind of trading, it means your share size is too high. It means your share size is too high. So if you can't just go like, I want to go to the bathroom. I don't care that much if I lose 20 bucks. You know, if you can't feel that way, then you probably have too high a share size. So it, it, it shouldn't matter to you because you want these little wins. Everybody's short, right? Yeah. 
You want these little wins to add up with very small share size to get what you want. You see all those people that do small account challenges and stuff like that. And for the most part, they're showing you exactly what you should do. I've watched some of them and they're, it's impressive, you know, and you just, you want to build it up over time. So now when you go, when you trade like large caps and you have a lot of money, then you can trade this way. There's been questions about, well, all your trading fees must be insane. No, they are not insane at all. They're just pennies because Thinkorswim makes money on their toll booth here, which I've talked about a bunch of times. This is what people are wanting uh, to, uh, this is what people want to get the stock for. They're bidding. These are asking, uh, they're asking that they want to sell it for this amount. So these two have to meet with the market maker, which is the number in the middle every time it moves. This is the market maker um, making so guys i'm just hanging on through this point of control but i do think that um this is an area we might think about reversing let's see if it churns here a bit we do have a fib we might bounce off down here i always look at fibs as being much more highly respected than the other support and resistance lines and the fact that we're right here let's see what's going to happen here you know you would call that see it already so normally i would have just taken that scalp i saw it happening but i didn't because again i'm on this kick where I want people to hold longer that are losing money because they're getting in and out so fast. I know that these channels will work for you. I, I strongly believe if you make a trading plan, you follow it for max loss. You don't set profit. You follow it for ma max loss. Profit would be, I know that's not what people teach you, right? You want to make as much money as you possibly can. So where you get out is when it starts to reverse after your profit is going. Like if this started to go up and it hit that line, it started to fade down and go, okay, I'm going to get out. But I would rather get profit much higher. I'm not going to stop it, right? So that was just a little pullback there, guys. And now it's coming back down again. It's still coming. So it's on the fib. Is that going to... This is where I would picture it reversing, really, honestly, right now. So on the second fib, is it going to break that broke that fib too? Wow. I'm going to reverse right there, guys. I'm reversing and banking my money, uh, and I am, I'm planning to not take a lot of trades today, but that trade was just, you know, that was just calling out that there's going to be somewhat of a retracement up here, re, uh, you know, a pull pullback of another pullback here. So, because that's two fibs, another one hour, you've broken away from the point of control, which is like a magnet. It's drawing you here, right? And um, now this didn't tell me to do that, right? This is the one thing I didn't get a message to turn around. So I took a chance, but look at how many buyers are here right now. So tell me I didn't, well, it's already worked for me. I'm going to reverse again right on that, 1,600. I'm, I'm counting on it banking off of this. See, I can't help it. I can't. I'm trying not to take a lot of trades. This looks like a potential area to take a lot of trades, so I'm, I'm having trouble not doing it. It just seems stupid to not do it. So I'm, uh, I'm going to do it again, reversing. I got it at 64. Um, Yeah, I know I lost you guys in there. Sorry. And ouch, ouch, look at that move go down. Oh, that's going to hit my max. Oh, man. Actually, I think I'll buy out if it hits 500. I'm not going to reverse. That is painful. Right there at the five. Whoo, who it almost lost me there. Okay. Um, and you would see me hit it as painful as it is. Wow, huh? That was. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how to read this right now, except it's just a falling knife, and I was stupid to take that trade and then just go talking to you guys. I'll get back to the level two in just a second, guys. I know I left it as I was explaining it. 15-minute um, chart down here is showing a down, downward move now. Five minutes showing downward, so it's good to keep perspective when you're trading these, these areas in here. Um, now... You know, there's another hangman coming down, but it didn't reverse, so now it's nothing. And uh, this is too big to call a spinning top. I don't know what that is really. So if you're looking at the patterns right now, I don't have a clear-cut pattern. 
uh, it's almost like I want to take a lesser loss and ride this down, but I'm going to, it, it saved me here so I could, I could reverse and go short again. But let's see if this pulls back past the fib. Sorry, I'm just I'm focusing for a second because I don't want to get in a position where I'm losing 400 bucks again. So, so now this is almost a spinning top. Turned around. It's not engulfing. It's not a tweezer. And it's not a, a – I mean, you could call this a big, giant bull flag if you wanted to. Really, it's, it's really past half. So, no, I would say not. So I don't have a particular pattern, and that's why um, – working off these uh, um, um, these support and resistance lines can be so helpful. Wow, you see that? I was green 200 bucks a second ago. So I looked away. Yeah, I should have done it. I should have taken it. Dumb. Here we go again. Yep, I should have done a lesser loss. So I really thought maybe, so it kind of did one of these puppies here and then came right back down again. So I'm not going to get caught with that again. So if it gives me another chance, I'm going to reverse. So let's see if it gives me another chance. $90, $120, $120. Get me close. Getting up to that fib. Uh, we're staying around $167.50 of what the market maker is going to give me. I'd like to see it get to $168 up there. Wow, no, it's going to drop off that one hour. Look at this channel here. kind of hit here a bunch of times, but now it's dropping below it. Again, I will not, um, I will not uh, reverse on a situation like that. I would just buy out um, or sell out. Now we're going back up again. You know, this is a different pattern now, so... This is interesting. It, it, it's looking more like it might go up. So the sellers were strong there. Now they dropped off here on this last candle. It's showing stronger buyers, in the, you know, but the volume dropped off with the buyers. So, uh, really? Man, it just keeps toying with me at my 500 max loss. So now it's, it's respecting this line. I'm just in the wrong end of this position every way you look at it. So... Now, if this was coming down, uh, this is sort of like a spinning top signifying a reversal here of going back up. But um, I don't know because it's just continuing to go down on the bigger moves here. Um, so again, spinning top. Now we have a hang hanging man if it closes like that, which signifies, again, uh, uh, it's going to go up. So let's just see, which because it's a hanging man based on this downward trend. So that means reversal. Hanging man means reversal. If you call that a hanging man on this, like it's an uptrend, this isn't enough to be an uptrend. So I've, I've been asked that question before. Oh, man. So it ended up being a doji, almost a rickshaw man here. So learn your, learn your patterns. But both these tell you it's going to go up. And that's what both of these, t if you don't know your patterns. So um, it's going to break through that one hour. Okay, so I'm going to hold a little longer just because of what it's doing. Um, One sixty eight. It broke through one sixty eight. It got all the way back up. So that's a great um that's a great move now. I'm gonna reverse right there, guys, and bank that and then see if it pulls back. I'm on the short now, so I'm feeling a little safer. Or not. Really? So I've got it at one sixty seven seventy four. Wow, wow, it just didn't, it just, uh, give me, show me some green, I'm going to get out, I'm going long again, I'm going to take a lesser loss and go long there, guys, um, that looks like it's still going to go up, so I'm taking a lesser loss and going long, I'm 167.80 long, I felt like I was going to be on the wrong end of that move all the way, so now, basically, this is what I was looking at, so three in a row, you know, buyers winning, and it's continuing to break through these levels on the way up and hang around the point of control. Do I think it's going to keep going way up here? No, I really don't. But I think it might. It might play. I said I was going to take like five trades today, and I blew my, I blew my deal here. But whatever. 
So my goal is to try to reach 5,000 on these videos each day, but I don't know if, uh, if I'm going to make it. So let's see. Now, is it going to bank off that fib? This is a Fibonacci, 60, 61.8. You see it over here. Yeah, it's turning back around. Wow. So, yep, that's almost three black crows coming down here on a five minute, which signifies it's going to continue to go up right here. Uh, 15 minute won't have any pattern for this type of trading here. This is shaping into a bear flag. If this stops anywhere up here and then turns around, we have a nice bear flag. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the poles at an angle, I understand. But what it's all about is how many people read the pattern a certain way. If enough people think that's a bear flag, it, it's a bear flag. <laughs> so that's just it. So you, you got to kind of get in the mind that that's what patterns are all about. How are people reading these patterns? Because they make up the moves. That's what makes the move of the candle. 5,000 people called that a bear flag, all trading 500 to 1,000 shares. It's going to act just like a bear flag, which means after this uh, retracement up, it's going to blow right back down again. So um, you got to look at that. Now, I'd like to see it get up to the top of this magnet or even up into here and make a better bear flag. Um, if you beat out the three, the three white soldiers, it's not that anymore. So I'm starting to look for patterns here. So um, any other pattern we can get. I'm going to call them out as I see them. This is definitely the, the three black crows are, are happening right here. Oh, wow. Okay, so I definitely wanted to see that. It's going to bank off that. I'm going to reverse right there, guys. I'm banking that. So part of that is I got that in the bank is the way I look at it. And uh, if this keeps, I'll probably, well, definitely if it goes up here, I'm going to, I'm going to you know, get out. But uh, we don't want it to go halfway past this pole. Well, it's kind of going halfway past. So I, not, a lot of people might not call that a bear flag now. So we're losing that. Now this is a sign of it turning around right now. So that's good for if everybody did it, what I just did, reversed. So everybody's doing good. I don't see anybody under a thousand bucks, which is nice. So yeah, I just, okay. So what we have here, very, very close to a bearish tweezer. Now, a lot of questions about this recently as I call them out. Now, keep in mind that a lot of the patterns are designed for day charts. And half the people say you only go by the bodies for a tweezer move, and half the people say you only go by the wicks for a tweezer move. So you don't go by one wick and then one body. Um, I, I have found that the tweezer move based on the body is very accurate, more than what they say, which I think is like, 68% or so. I find that these are like 80 plus percent. Now I have somebody keeping track for me just on my own trades. Wow, <laughs> this is a great trade. Basically, um, so it just blew through everything again. Now here's where it stopped before. So we're going to look for that. So, you know, the sellers got all the way up here, volume increasing. Let's see what's going to happen. Here's the, how many people look at the percentage. And you definitely don't want to turn around yet. Not with that high of a percentage, but it is kind of calling out that maybe, see, I'll just pull back. So um, look at, this is what I'm going to get. Oh, I never finished talking about this. So <sighs> I'm going to hold this trade longer, guys, unless it really retraces to a lost money thing. I'm going to try to do what I said earlier since I've already got a nice cushion. So I'm going to just calm down and uh, and do it this way. So. Um, or maybe I should just take this profit and then get right back in short. I don't know. If I'm doing something against my modus of apparatus, sometimes I just should bank the money and then and then do the experiment. Because I would have taken this scalp right here as it pulled up. But um, 
You've been seeing me struggle the last few days trying to hold longer for five-minute traders. Look at that line up. This right here is a bear tweezer, meaning this is going to go down on the five-minute. So it was three black crows perfectly. I mean, you would like to have seen it hit to the top of that, which is what they call out for that move. Now it's tweezer on the five-minute, meaning that it should go the length of the candle, like down to 66 166 something if it completes that move so that's a the five minutes telling you it's going down all right so this is an inverted hammer which implies a reversal here it's not really an inverted hammer yet right it's the making of one if it turns around but it's letting you know that it could be turning around so um you know uh, part of the problem with with uh, calling patterns as I do, they haven't completed yet. They're t I'm, call I'm calling out what I'm seeing as a possibility that, that that's what that um, pattern could be, that candlestick pattern could be making, but I don't really get confirmation for a couple more candlesticks. So, But that's the whole thing, right? You're trying to look into the future. You're trying to explain why you know the future. So I need to explain why I know the future. Like, if it doesn't make sense, something's terribly wrong, right? So, um, so you take all these things and you and you read them all together, and uh, you you make sure that it all makes sense for any trader that wants to try to follow, which I don't recommend you do, but um, until you get really, until you really make a lot of money in a sim, um, how is this? How am I taking these trades? Well. I'm I'm reading the future by looking at this right here for one thing. Um, now again, we have a falling knife. <laughs> That's a falling knife. That's not an actual pattern, but uh, okay. So now you've done that. You've done the move. You've almost done. So I'm inclined to reverse here soon, based on where we're at down here. Um, now I start looking at the half dollars and the whole dollars, like 166.50 or 166. That's way down here. So, yeah, the, no, no move is supporting right now, other than just a constant downward trend, which of course it could be. No move is supporting this to go down much for a while. So there's the 50 cent. Is it going to break the 50 cents? It is. I'm going to grab that right there on a reversal, guys. That's a strategic reversal. All right based on the length that it went down on the five minute. So it did, it completed its tweezer move, the length of that candle, we're right there, all right? And we've even gone a little bit further. And I look at it like these are, these are, these are people. These candlesticks represent a whole bunch of people, right? I've just started saying it this way because it makes more sense. So there's a crap load of people in here, right? And every time they pass through a level, it's like they're being tethered. Or it's like a rubber band stretching, right? Because there's a lot of other people that want the action to be up here, not down here. So what's going to make that happen, right? So people make that happen. So you look at the patterns, too. You look at the patterns and you say, here we go again with a potential inverted hammer telling us that it's turning around. These ended up not being inverted hammers because they didn't complete the move. So it's just a shape that looks like an inverted hammer. Now, this is a lot. This is even a rickshaw man. Um, and if it was the top of a move, you'd call it a shooting star. Um, but what it's at the bottom of a move here, you you basically have a um, it's a gravestone, right? Yeah, it's a gravestone and a rickshaw man. And, you know, there's a bunch of patterns that, again, how long's the wick? This is a very sensitive setup that might have the shadow or the wick a little longer than what other people see. So I'm taking into account what are they seeing right here and how many people are calling it. And, and, or they might just be wrong. They might just say, oh, that's a, that's a whatever, that's a, a, a hammer or whatever they might call it. I don't know what they'd call how wrong they could be. But you do have to take into account that how, and I'm called patterns wrong all the time. It's like I know what the pattern is telling me is supposed to happen, but then I call it out to you guys as the wrong pattern. And then I watch the video or most likely I'm told, uh, and then I'll go back. I didn't say that. And then I see, oh shit, I shoot, sorry, shoot. And I, and I say that. So now twice. Okay. So here we go twice telling you this is going to turn around. So that's why I'm going to hold my long position, right? It's consolidating here. Both of these, any, it's almost easier to say, if you can't learn all the pan patterns, look, there's only like 14 to memorize, right? You, I mean, there's 60 something patterns, but ones you see every day from what we're all talking about is between 12 and 14. 
over and over and over again. So if you can focus on those, which I in the in the uh, beginning of that um, candlestick pattern book, they put the the more often patterns in in the first section. Then it got into more rare patterns that were more based on day trading patterns that you just because they have big gaps and stuff that you oh man that you just don't see as often on these. So I have to get ready to see what this is going to do here. So it's it's respecting this. So there's no there's no surefire channel. Now, what happens a lot of times I tell people is like, look at the wi widen your channels. So you could go from here to here and say you could call this the channel, right? And it, you know, then it just broke through here, but it's kind of swaling in and out of a bigger channel here. So you can call that. Oh, wow, look at that. So it's really going to kill me here. So I'm going long. So um, that's too bad because this indecision really made me think it's going up but it just sort of dropped across and then it became it's becoming like a flat top uh well no because of that it's not even a flat top it's a nothing you might want to call that a tweezer or an engulfing it, 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 everybody looks at things a little differently but it's a good idea to get in your mind what these patterns are so i'm looking over at the five minute it really hasn't gone much by the original five minute move so this is sort of screaming for it at this one hour where it stopped a bunch of times. It's the five minutes sort of telling you to turn around. So I'm going to keep trying to call the five minute out more often, guys, as I see it, um, because a perfect alignment between these is, would be the, what you're really going for. Of course, with volume and watching level two to make sure there's not you're not going to get a large stack up on. Um, you're not going to get a big stack up on large cap here. You know, it's just not going to happen. And half of these are hidden. These are multiplied by 100. You've got front runners, icebergs, dark pools. You're going to get filled all the time. So, you know, you can look here. If you suddenly see like four digits, <laughs> you might want to watch out. But for the most part, they're going to get filled. And I think I talked about the liquidity already. You're going to, you get 3.7 times whatever these shares say after you multiply these by 100 get filled. So nobody can really stop a large cap unless it's a huge institutional trader like dark pools. And that's why I like to get in and out um, quickly in case of that. So uh, Morningstar, uh, rickshaw man, turned around. It said it was going to turn around. It just took a minute. And now it's starting to turn around. So let's see what happens here. It's creating a doji or another rickshaw man here. Um, I should have. I could have gone for a lesser loss and start tra trading it down again. I, I that's just was. Uh... Anyway, so this is what people are willing to pay. This is what people want. Picture a bridge going across. In the middle is a toll booth, and we have that's where the market maker sits. Think about the matrix. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then he tries to get these people happy within the middle somewhere. They call that the spread that they both, they don't, nobody's totally happy because they don't get exactly what they want, but they get close, they both get close, and they all know that's what's going on. But then the other thing that happens is the toll booth man marks it up. So he, they skim off the top of every, every trade. And that's why on Think or Swim, you don't pay individual trading fees. You don't have to worry about those on Think or Swim. You're just paying like pennies per per trade, even if the thousand shares or two or five thousand shares. You're paying like, you know, eighty nine cents or something. So it's not like a lot of platforms overseas, other countries, or even some in the U.S. where you're going to get charged just ridiculous amounts. So when you're done in the day of making five thousand dollars, oh, they're going to charge you fifteen hundred just in fees. It's like whoa. Um, and if you take too many trades, you know, like on Lightspeed I trade on, you can be upside down before you know it. So you got to be careful. And it's a different type of trading on Lightspeed. Some of the momentum traders on YouTube use that. And they're very precise and very careful. And it's a high level of trading that doesn't have um, as much area to fail as, as the big large caps do. You know, large cap, as long as you follow your trading plan, and get out. You saw me hovering at the 500. As painful as it was, I was going to take that hit. 
and you might have a twenty dollar or fifty dollar. I'm not trying to be pretentious. I don't know. Maybe you have a two thousand dollar. But I mean, you you know, you want to um, follow it exactly. Trading in the zone. Read that book. Do trading zone. You know, follow it in day trading volume one. It has ideas exactly on how to set a plan. They even have worksheets to do a a, a plan. So you might want to get that too. Um, yeah, I'm almost out of time, guys. That went fast. I'm just jabbering away here. Hopefully, this has been helpful, guys. So you can see this was the sign of the reversal right here. And it reversed, a retracement reversal up. So um, I'm going to try I'm trying to get over 5,000 on this reverse here. Let's see how high that's going to go. Wow, 27, 31. I'm going to take that at 33. So that gave me a little bit of cushion to drop below 5,000 if it keeps going up. So probably if it breaks through this fib up here, definitely the double fib up to the point of control, I'm going to reverse or just get out, cover um, at this point. So um, So guys, as we get near the time here, I'm just going to probably take some smaller scalps because I'm pretty much done and I don't want to get hit by 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 holding it longer for the five minute move. Um, oops, buy out to get out of this. Well, it depends on what it does right here. If this drops off, I'll I'll reverse. You got a hanging man telling you that it's slowing down. You can see the buyers dropped off. It looks like that the sellers are going to take over here in a minute. Let's see if they if there's a renewed. Uh, spirit here or if it's just going to start fading right back down to maybe this fib would be nice you know um or the even dollar amounts look for the even dollar amounts as it comes down yeah i don't want to lose my 5k so i made my 5k Remember, guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe. There's a lot to see on the channel. Uh, and don't forget about looking up those books. There'll be a link to the author's page. Man, I don't know if I'm just going to buy out of this crap here. This is not doing what I want it to do. It's it's breaking above there. I'm going to get out of that. So, yeah, I, I, as it's breaking above, the book will tell you, you know, it's, it's you know. So you really need it to break back through again. Well, now it's breaking back through. You know, let's sing it I'll take another tray, guys. Let's just see here. Because I've got 160 cushion, and it's slowing way down, but it's all buyers. So if I can catch a dip, uh, I might um, ride it long again if I can get a dip right here. Now, there's a hanging man telling you of a reversal. Will it stick to a reversal? Let's see. That's a very strong hang. No. I wish I would have got in there. That's a... Uh, I'm kind of where I was. If I just was holding on, I'd be at the same, like 5,200 or something. But I got out. So now I'm just watching this from afar. Yeah, everybody's green, which is great. So that just that was just a choom, plunge, right? Just went straight down. Two different plunges down. Boom, 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 boom. You've caught that. You did really good. And then it went down again. And now we're swaling up again. And it's going to be a lower low, a lower high. This looks like it's going to be a lower high again. And it's just stair-stepping down. You can look at the 5-minute and the 15-minute. Just 15 minutes just saying, no, we're just going down. What are you What are you look, talking about? It's all perspective, right, and what you're looking at. Um, now, this could be a flat-top breakout or flat-top breakdown or rejection of this flat-top, which is right at this one-hour pivot. So clearly, look at how well that was respected over here. So clearly... Wherever that one hour was, let's take a look. Where we're at right now is like 167.35. So 167. So it's some, somewhere right in here. Look at that. Is that it? That's 15. Like right here. Yeah, look at all the times it hit here and here and here. 
So, you know, you take a mean average sometimes, but that was a respected line. A lot of people looked at that line earlier. I could, I only took my eye off the screen that long because uh, I, I wasn't in a position. So uh, I might buy off to 167. Let's see if it gets down to 167 or even breaks it. I might try one long position there. So there was a spread. It went to 96. What did I get it at? 98. All right. So I'm going to hold that for a second. But not if it messes me up here. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Got me back to 52 for a second. So look, let's look at this channel and see if it, can, if it doesn't break out of that, then I'm just going to get out right away. So this was a trade that was just calling to me to bounce off that level. Now, this is calling to me to get out that level. But since I have a cushion, I might just hang on a second to see if it it's a flat top breakout now. This, would be a, this is a flat top. Is there going to be a breakout? So this could be a bullish tweezer, but not really, which would mean it should keep going down at least the level of that candle the height of that candle but it's not really not many people are going to see that they'll see that as a spinning top which again shows a reversal but it kind of did it and that's why these channels are so important is when you get the pivot lines marked these levels nice so this was a great last trade as long as i don't lose it so i'm going to ride this guys i don't know it seems like most of you are long which is great um so it broke it, the breakout for a second. I'm not going to let it get like passed down here. So that's like eh, 26.31 in the 30s. Oh, it's almost there. Yeah, is it going to fade off that? It might just, just doesn't have the strength. Yeah, the strength went up on the last one here. And now it's right at the top. Look at that. Look at that strength going up. So let's ride this up a second. So when you have the right tools and you just look at the you know study the two charts in comparison and learn these little tricks you, you really have an edge to make the money now there will people that will call out that this is stupid trading you can never do it it's gambling and, da, da. and i just strongly think they just don't understand you know they don't want to go through the trouble it's not for everybody obviously so 50 cent i'm gonna i'm gonna sell off that fib if it hits up there that's 69 so what would it go? 60, 67. Wow. It hit that. Uh, the uh, It hit that. Oh, what happened there? No, no, don't do it. Whoa, look at that. I went right past it. 75, 80. All right, I'm going to get out right there. 59. Okay. All right. That's I'm going to call it a day there, guys. 59, 10. So remember to look around on the channel if you're new. Otherwise, uh, stay green, guys. You know that's my... My phrase, be careful, stay green. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.